It's uh, Sunday, July 30th. We're here back at uh, Spillway uh, Park, or Spillway Ramp here on Texoma. And we brought the depth finder with us this time so we can maybe have a look at uh, what may be underneath us. And we're seeing some surface activity, but uh, we haven't seen the schools yet uh, hitting on top. It's a little bit cooler today, so we ended up wearing our uh, long pants. Uh, that said, uh, wish us luck. All right, we're so far, uh, we're about 60 plus feet of water and just looking for any uh, indication of some shad. Oh, there's some busting over here. Let's go for it. Let's keep an eye out for them. There they are. Yeah. Let's see if we can get one. School's coming to us. There we go, got one. All right, hit it on the drop. Cool beans. All right, first one of the day. All right, we got one in the bag. They're hitting around us. Let's see if we can get another one here. They are boiling. These are hitting on top, so. See how it goes. We'll just cast way out over there in front of them and we'll just let it drop. It's about uh, 840, 845. We started seeing them hit on top this round. I think yesterday or the other day when we were here, it was about 9 o'clock plus when they started showing up. Uh, and that school looked like it went by and maybe further down some other guys that are down here uh, headed their way, so hopefully they'll hook up some splashing here so we're gonna hold here for a little bit and see if another oh yeah the right behind oh had him he was on there briefly wow that one felt good too good tug just kind of float along here while we got the opportunity Put this guy up. Coming up on a, another deal of splashing, so let's we'll see what happens. See a lot of activity underneath us. So Let's we'll see what happens. There we go. Got one. Oh, he's fine. Good. All right, he's underneath us. Maybe a keeper. It's a buffalo. Big buffalo. All right, let's put a slab. guys need loving too, so big buffalo. Oh, not bad. Let him go. Oh, there we go. There's some splashing. Let's go run up there. along here. I put on these uh, Yankier gloves. They're pretty cool. Keep your hands nice and uh, ready to catch fish. I pick them up and then put our wrists away. I don't put this deal on. So hopefully uh, we can still keep fishing. It's just a flesh wound. So we're just off this point here and there's a lot of bait fish underneath us. Unfortunately there's no uh, bruisers out there uh, hitting. So uh, we'll, keep, we'll keep at it. All right we got one. He was hitting it as we were reeling it from shore. So we'll see. We'll see how this guy goes. I'm not sure what it was, but last time it was a buffalo. This time it's gonna be. All right. 
it uh, it's right there. Alright, cool. Alright, number two. Uh, it's been a pretty good day so far. Ended up uh, getting at least a, a chance at a couple of the schools. And ended up uh, getting uh, two striped bass. Uh, not, not the biggest, but uh, enough that we can fillet them and make uh, dinner tonight. And then um, got a buffalo, and we ended up letting that one go. That one went for the slab. We went with a slab and jig rig that uh, seemed to uh, get it down to the uh, uh, to the bottom of the score, the lower part of the school, and got a uh, better chance of some hookups. Did did have several other hits, but uh, weren't able to hook up with those. I said. Uh, Pretty much just going to play it by ear over here by the cove, by the boat ramp, and then after that uh, we're going to call it quits. So uh, pretty much uh, we'll be calling this trip. One thing that we do note is that uh, Lawrence Hook 3X DSI uh, was a game changer this time. We were able to see uh, where the brakes in the, in the uh, uh, bottom were, as well as uh, see where the shad were passing by, as well as some of those nice size stripers that were going through. So uh, we definitely like having it. And, uh, We'll definitely uh, use it again next time we're out here. 